welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here before my name is Aisha and this is my channel sit here talk about random stuff personal stuff sometimes not always though yeah always but my main goal is just to share my story in hopes that it'll actually like help you with your story because we all have our own stories going on so I just want to let you know that you're not alone and we can all get through this together genuinely believe it I mean I feel like that's why we exist right just to, to help each other through our hard times if there's anything that my struggle can do to help you I'm gonna do it you know so that being said let's just jump right into it today my topic is my anxiety and my panic attacks which is really hard to admit um i always knew that i had anxiety and i've had panic attacks before and so i know what they are and what they feel like but i feel like i went a really long time just kind of not letting myself feel like not letting myself be able to express that i'm not okay like I just kind of deal with it, keep trucking, just because it's like feeling bad isn't going to help. So I may as well just keep going with my life, right? But no, because if you don't directly address that you're feeling awful, you're not going to find the solutions in order to make you feel better. At least that's what I learned with my experience. As you know from one of my previous videos, I just recently got out of something that was really, really serious, really impactful in my life i feel like i don't or i never admitted either to myself or to others how much that affected me because it kind of brought up some things from the past that kind of happened daily like i felt like every day was stressful and i lived in consistent stress for like a whole two months and there were times where i was extremely stressed, extremely fearful, and it made it really difficult to function. And um, I've had a couple times where I actually experienced like after like a start of a panic attack, I had to make myself go numb so that it wouldn't affect what I did, so that I wouldn't panic myself out of doing something. So I kind of made myself go numb whenever I was having a panic attack. And whenever that happened, I couldn't experience life the way that I wanted to. Even like in that situation, like even, okay, so I'd have a panic attack and then I'd go numb and then I'd be numb for days and maybe even weeks. I can barely remember any days where I was like, okay just because I was so numb. Like everything that I experienced while it was some things were cool and most things weren't, even those cool times, I couldn't, I wasn't, I wasn't me. Like I, I was like a zombie. Cause even though I'm like, I know I should be feeling good about this, but I can't feel good about this just because I was going through my panic attack and rather than addressing it or trying to get through it, I just kind of shut myself down emotionally and somewhat mentally. Like I was, lights were on, no one was home. That's basically the whole entire span of what happened. So like after that, I, I came here and I was good. Like I had my mission going on. If you see my previous video, I said I was always holding close to God, right? So I was always praying and everything like that. Only because like that's, that's just what I do. That was, that was what helped me. That's kind of what led me. That was the only direction that I had. So prayed and then I have like my cousin and everybody here who are really, really awesome. My auntie for taking me in and taking care of me and everything like that. And I felt that, but at the same time, I was still not all there. And it happened for months. And I got a job like right off the bat, like after I got here, it took me a couple of weeks to just get a job. And it wasn't, it wasn't hard at all. I was working at Chipotle. So it's like, 
I already had like three years with the company and may as well just keep going and that was fine with me. And one thing I learned while I was there and it wasn't something that I realized until a few days ago that the main reason why I, cause I don't work there anymore. The main reason why I left was because I was dealing with a manager who was a narcissistic person and it, it brought it back up in me like everything that I was going through like just the, the narcissism and trying to be controlled and manipulated like it's 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 one of my triggers you know and it triggers me back into that state to where I'm numb and I can't feel anything and so I just I had to quit it was it was I don't know I feel like if I hadn't gone through what I went through, it probably wouldn't be as bad. But I just realized a few days ago that I'm still dealing with some kind of PTSD with it. Because, was it yesterday? Yesterday, I had a huge panic attack. And I didn't realize what it was until after a little while. Um, because it started a few days ago because of some BS about my one of my videos with my family and it just kind of built up because I've been feeling off and I've been like dude I'm feeling off like I don't know why but I'm feeling off just off and I was starting to eat a lot again not really like bad foods but I was eating more and I'm like I feel like I'm trying to fill a void there's a void that I'm trying to feel fill right now and I don't know why like I'm trying to get some I would watch YouTube videos my typical YouTube videos like the motivational ones they weren't helping the funny ones that I'd watch they weren't helping and I didn't want anything but I needed something like that's that was my feeling and it went on for days and then yesterday out of nowhere like I just started panicking about everything like I felt awful I felt like something bad was gonna happen like I felt like I was gonna die like I it's crazy feeling but it's like a, a body feeling like I'm gonna die like this is the end like I don't know what's going on and I was panicking about every little thing and I was doing my makeup and I was I felt like I was gonna cry because I couldn't get my eyeliner right like I'm like something's not right like why 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 are you panicking like why are you feeling this way and I was like oh I'm going through a panic attack and once I really noticed that I was like oh like it's like I really had to like mama myself because I'm like it's okay you're fine you're a beautiful individual you're inspiring you've done a lot of things like you're you've accomplished so much you've come so far like there's no reason to worry whatever's going on in the future just leave that for your future self there's no reason to think about that right now right now all you need to focus about is the very next step like I use that whole frozen thing like do the next right thing because that shit gold and um I would just do like the, the very next thing that I could do. And so I try to just focus on my makeup and tell myself, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Just don't worry about it. Like, it's okay, that's for the future. It's okay, like I understand. I understand why you're hurting. I understand why you're worried. I understand why you're panicking. Like, And those were the words that I had to tell myself, like I understand, which is crazy. Cause it's like, once I understood, like, I know you're not okay. Like, I, I know this is hard for you. Like. I understand and I'm saying that to myself like I, I know this is hard and that's okay you went through something that's okay you're having some kind of PTSD that's okay too just know that you're okay you're good everything is gonna be fine there's no reason for you to worry there's no reason just do the next right thing just do focus on what's right in front of you right here and it's like once I realized that and once I was telling myself those words like the feeling just went away and I was like oh yeah because <laughs> I went back to me because me me is very positive and very happy very upbeat I I am a problem solver I love to I don't know be positive that's just me and I felt that come back kind of like a wave just wash over me where it's like I came back to myself and that it was crazy it was a revolutionary moment because that's something that I've never done like I said before when I had panic attacks I would shut down I'd either shut down or run away and those are the only two things that I would do and 
for once, for the very first time, I was able to talk myself through a panic attack to a point to where I felt great again. Like it wasn't just like, oh, I'm okay, like I'm sad, but I know I'm gonna be okay. But it was literally like, <sighs> everything changed. And as soon as I did that, I just kind of like, I was trying so hard to like focus my mind just on what I was doing, but also, you know, those same affirmations, the fact that like, you're beautiful, you're kind, you're loving, you are love, you are light. You, you know, just, boosting myself up at the same time as doing my makeup and stuff and I was on my walk to work and I was like man I gotta share this I don't know who needs to hear it if anyone needs to hear it but I I I learned how important it is not only to just you know help yourself through hard times but understand that you're going through a hard time and that it's okay it's okay that you're hurt it's okay because being not okay proves that you're okay, if that makes sense. Like being able to recognize that you're not okay is good. That's a good thing. That's the first step to realizing like that you can move forward from it. So it's okay to take it in a process. Don't just try to just heal because wounds happen and then they heal. You gotta realize that they're there. You gotta have that, that acknowledgement because once you acknowledge it, the solutions present themselves. And so I'm sharing my story so that if anyone is ever going through any kind of like panic attack or they're dealing with anxiety or something like that, just consider the fact that even though most people don't want to admit or, or take responsibility or recognize that they're hurt and that this is going to happen, and then take it to the next step of healing and knowing that you you can get through it. Because while I was able to get through my panic attack like a boss, I know that that might not be the last one just because that's just my current response to stress. And that's how that is based off of everything that happened before. But now that I know how to get through it, I'm not scared of when it's going to happen. Like I know it's not gonna paralyze me. I know it's not going to stop me from doing everything that I need to do in order to be who I wanna be. And I wanna give this feeling to as many people as possible. So I had to make this video, I felt, because I don't know who's out there going through the same thing, but just know that you are amazing. Get yourself some affirmations, which I made a video about. I'll put a link to it in the description, but give yourself some awesome affirmations. Um, the ones that I said earlier, like telling myself that I am love, that I am light, and that's what I project to the world, like telling myself that, that's those were some older affirmations that are kind of like already in my head, like that play all the time that I started. Um, and then I made some new ones once those were already in the, you know, in my mind. So those are, those are the thoughts that play in the back of my mind. How awesome is that? And trust me, you can do it too. But um, get yourself some affirmations. And so whenever you're going through that problem, like through that, that, that struggle of your anxiety attack or anything like that, just go to those affirmations and hold to them like believe them trust in them trust that you're gonna know what to do when you need to do it as of right now just focus on what's right in front of you the very next thing you can do because that's all you can do and that's okay like it's okay surrender to the outcome is something that i i can't remember who said it or where i heard it but that's something that i've like really that really stuck with me it resonated with me I was like, surrender to the outcome. That makes sense. Because I don't have control over anything else except me. And so I will do what's within my control and everything else doesn't even need to be on my mind. Anyway, I hope, really, really hope and pray that this video helped somebody out there. And I know it was a very vulnerable thing to share, but you know, I, this is what I do. It was worth it for whoever really needs to hear it. Like, even if it's just one person, you one person, I see you, I got you, I take care of you. Let me know what you think and if I should do more videos about my anxiety because it's, uh, it's a process. 
and I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day and much love like comment subscribe like